Your career has merged so many different styles and interests and it seems like a lot of your inspiration might have been political comedy, uh, was, for lack of a better word. Yeah, it's one of the inspirations, uh, although this past weekend, coincidentally, I've been invited to delve into the stories of two uh, major influences on me that were not political at all, Ernie Kovacs and Bob and Ray. Uh, yeah. So there's that thread too, mm -hmm. you know. But sure, Mort Saul and, and Lenny Bruce and Stan Freeberg and, and uh, Peter Sellers and Peter Cook and Dudley Moore. I mean, I was influenced by a lot of folks, some of whom were political, some of whom weren't. Yeah. What that made me do was sort of think seriously about uh, how political comedy was normally done, which is sort of almost Punch and Judy-esque, you know, stick figures, good guy here, bad guy here, let's cheer the good guy, let's laugh and boo the bad guy. Mm -hmm. And that wasn't interesting to me. Uh, so I've, I've always, you know, and I, I started my career working for Jack Benny. So I watched, you know, a master of comedy, non-political comedy at work, and I think that really um, influenced me tremendously in terms of uh, portraying these characters, either on the radio show or wherever else I do them, um, trying to, at least, as humans, uh, flawed humans, nonetheless. Uh, yes. But are we all flawed humans? And with an idea that, you know, if circumstances were such that you or I were in their shoes, we might well be fucking up like they are. You know, yes. I think that's crucial. 